So, take one. This is Maribor, a city in the eastern part of Slovenia. It's also the second largest city in the country. I'm looking down from Pyramid Hill. I think that's the name of the hill. And those grain silo things, that's basically toward the train station and bus station. From there, if you pan to the right, you'll be looking south. Uh, down there, you can't see it, but there's a river down there. And then that mountain off in the far distance, I think that's a ski slope or something. I'm not too sure about that. But this video is going to be all about Maribor, Slovenia, and that's the little trail to get down there. So let's get down there and let's get this video started. But before we start this video, I want to I wanna say I was in Maribor one year before I captured this footage. And I went there for a, a drum, drum lesson. lesson. Took a drum lesson with the guy who plays in this band and is the person behind this chair. The guy behind this book. Marco Soki. He was a drummer at that time, first time for I think two bands. And after we did our uh, drum lesson, I basically went and hung out at a uh, rehearsal with one of the bands. That's the band, his girlfriend, I think the manager was there. The singer of the band was not there. And it was this band, Black Diamond. And basically that's why I came back for another uh, Another music lesson. Unfortunately, the trip started on a negative note as my iPad wouldn't turn on and my iPad was the only way I could connect with people and make reservations. Fortunately, I had my first night lodgings information written down on a piece of paper so I was able to check into this place. And then when I was there, I asked uh, the guy who, I guess he owns a place or works there to like, can I use your computer because I got to contact someone from this town to let them know I'm here. And then that's when I realized keyboards on computers all around the world are not the same. So like all the letters were in different spots. So that was kind of like a, another wake up call for me. Nonetheless, an old fashioned desktop computer and landline saved the day. So after a few minutes, I was able to figure out where I had to go. I had to go from here in a house over to Trig Leona Skuka, that place. And once I got there, I'd meet up. And from there, we hopped in his car and we went, went to a place where he was going to pick up a sign, basically a sign like this for his, uh, he was going to start a drum school the next month so after that we went by there they were getting that ready and then we went by the other location and I said how do you play this part and here's a short clip of how to play that part one two three four Again, one and one. You hear the bass drum on the second stroke of the bass drum comes the hi hat. And if I make it faster, we get the group one, two, three, four. Again, one, yeah. two, three. Four. Make it like yeah. original, so I play oh, this the one rim uh, rim shot, and the extended note is rim shot, oh. and the hi hat is a little bit open, like oh, okay. it's rock music, yeah. rock. So. And that was really good to be able to actually listen to a song on a CD and ask, "How do you play this?" by the person who played it on the CD. And like I said, uh, the drummer is also involved with this charity, Twenty Four Twenty, and if there's this notebook, and there's this notebook which uh, the proceeds go to uh, to get 
musical instruments into schools. So I'll put up some uh, some information on the screen and try to track it down if you want. And then when the next day arrived, I switched to another place and I was gonna stay in this place, which was the narrowest place I've ever stayed in. The room was like four or five feet wide only and the bed was on top of the top of the door. It's really cool though. I had no problem with it. It was nice, clean. And then the next day I had to move. For some reason I had to change uh, lodging every day. I'm not sure what was up with that. Then it was uh, sitting in this uh, park killing time to uh, wait till I could check in the next place. And then I found out over there, they like literally pick up cars. They're like, you know, you're not supposed to park there or something. You know, they just, they literally have a little crane. I was like, wow. I bet you if they did that back in the USA, they would drop it and break it. And shortly after it began to rain, so I stayed close to the edges of buildings to avoid getting wet. And then shortly after it was time to check in to the next place, which would be the hostel Lent. And after I checked in, I took a little break. Then I went back out got a slice of pizza from this place and then I went I went down this road I went down that road quite a ways so I got to this intersection where I found this staircase it was all decorated and painted and then this road had some cool graffiti too and then if you go up that road and then you zigzag a little bit you can basically get back to the part where you can walk up to that hill and be at the beginning of this video again.